The Whiskey Brothers podcast is intended for an adult listening audience. If you find yourself easily offended, I guarantee this will do it. They don't want no problem. Nah. From Houston, Texas. The Whiskey Brothers podcast starts now. Welcome to the Whiskey Brothers podcast. <laughs> Hi. It is episode 751 right before Woo! right before I hit record. Always. Uh, we're your Whiskey Brothers. I am Slade Ham, your host as always. Rob Mungle yeah. to my right as almost always. Uh, always recently, Trey Tutson on the podcast. Yeah. And uh, we're joined. We've been bringing in guests. This episode is, uh, you know what, I called this 751. This isn't 751, Rob. This is. Uh, uh, I was I was going to mention that, but I thought you, maybe you. you're ahead of the game. No, 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 no. I screwed up for mm-hmm. for the first time in a while. Uh, this is something in uh, later while yeah, I'm in, in the future. <laughs> yeah, but it'll be the first one while I'm in Europe. So this comes out uh, towards what the part? end of October. What part? Where you at? I don't know right now. Turkey probably. <laughs> Turkey. Oh, it's the end. Of, it's the end of October. I should oh, be in Turkey right now. Sam's God. with me. We may record some stuff while we're over here. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I don't they know. out of names when they name that motherfucking country? <laughs> They just naming shit that was delicious. That's what it feels like. <laughs> don't you see some? But don't you think about that about some countries, like I, I, like, like Chad? They clearly <laughs> gave up. It's just like <laughs> fuck the meaning. So we just don't go with the average white man. Yeah, uh, I think <laughs> that's what Chad means. You know how every country has a yes, yes. It means some shit. Yes, that's Chad. They it just, just means average white been, man. Could have been Kevin. Could have been Kev. Got yep. You. Could have been Bryce. Uh, we're running through a lot of new faces uh, while we are doing these episodes while I'm gone. Uh, that means it's your first time on the podcast. Uh, welcome, Beth. A- uh, is it Alder? Adler. Yeah, Alder. Alder. I got it right. Okay. I wrote it the right way. I had to do my homework, Rob. Yeah. Uh, Beth go. Alder welcome, on the podcast. Beth. Cheers. Happy to be here. One of uh, so many Houston comics that we've brought yeah, through. That's right. No, don't spill it on the thing. You, you, you yeah. drink and we appreciate that. Rob mentioned. Yeah. The voice does sound like Kristen Linder. She does sound like Kristen Linder. Just a little bit in the background. Yeah. And that's, uh, I have to keep looking back at you to remind me that you're not Kristen. Not Kristen, still Beth. Um. Yeah. (laughs) It's a good thing. Uh, No, Kristen doesn't listen. Uh, (laughs) I love disagreeing with white women. This is fun. (laughs) Yeah, is it like a hobby? I was... I always get. See, this is what I thought. Instantly thought this was going to happen. I always get nervous when When there's a woman around Trey. Oh, oh, why is that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't. That's not. This is not a good climate to say shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do no shit like that. Get me ostracized for nothing. I don't even like sex. Better watch out. <laughs> He's like, I don't even like sex. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so he claims, and then he went and got a girlfriend to go with his wife. Uh, it's a di- it's a di- <sighs> do you? Uh, do you know? You don't know about his situation. Or do I don't you? know about your, what's. No. Tell me. He has. He's in a. He's in a, um, a circle. You know, a circle what of love. Of Oh, like a polyamorous. You know what, but this is what I'm realizing. They're not hot enough for me to celebrate it. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? Like, you be like, I got a wife and a girlfriend. And everybody's like, let me see pictures. I'm like, no, no, you ain't. No, this is not. <laughs> just appreciate the situation. Don't think <laughs> Don't think about what two bitches it is. Just, just, just be happy for me. You just count it up there. Who's the threesome? Just shut no, up and stop yeah, asking questions. Yeah, don't do that. This is, uh, this is how I got to explain it. No, wait, wait. First of all, it's just two bitches I care about a lot. I can't say because when you just say it's two women, they assume, oh shit, they probably hot. It ain't. It, it, I'm doing this not how I imagined it when I was 13. <laughs> this is you're almost doing it altruistically. Like this isn't for you. Yeah, this, bullshit. I, <laughs> bullshit. I ain't cut out for this. No, you're so, not. <laughs> so, 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 so Trey, so Trey, Trey has been married for you. You and Shay got married how long ago? Remind four, me. Four years. Four ago. years ago, and he's he's gotten a girlfriend for the relationship recently. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's we're, we, I, I, I told him this is never going to work. And he, he swears he can pull it off. Is this uh, – and I because I couldn't do it. And Rob uh, – No. You say you couldn't either? No. Is this – could you do a – Oh, I could totally do that. You know, because <laughs> there are couples and they're like, oh, like, sweetie, this is getting boring. Like, we should have a baby. And Trey's like, no, no, no. She's going to get another woman. Let's just adopt an 18-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happened. That's like kind of what happened, but it wasn't. It, it wasn't even boring. It's just, it, I, she, this way, she tried to call my bluff. And there's moments you gotta prove you the man. Like there's moments you have to prove <laughs> Wait, see? you the man. You yo, look yo, as her, lost as I've been for the last month. Different. But but um, you gotta prove like, all right, this bitch think I'm. I gotta just. I gotta. I what, can't, what I can't she, break no promises. What was your bluff? I'm I'm curious. The bluff was that I was like, yo, what if I'm just hypothetically speaking? What if there was a chick out there that loved me just as much as you did? 
And she was like, I don't. And she was like, no. She was like, like exactly. <laughs> were you reading? Like, were you reading a cosmopolitan magazine? What prompted just, you to lean across the living room and ask this question? Because me and Shay ask each other these types dumb of hypotheticals yeah. all the time. Yeah. Not, not dumb hypotheticals. Sometimes it, I ask her real shit. Like, like who who fucks you way better than I ever could? What? <laughs> I, I want to know that. What? I want to know who Wait. that is. That way, when she's not answering her phone, I know what address to Google. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got to guess. Oh, I know exactly because I've been slipping. <laughs> <laughs> you head over there. So, and and you, God, man, I, that's. Well, God bless. It's a level of openness. I'm on. I don't know that I could be in that Did relationship. You said you could do it. You could. You could. Oh no! I mean, I uh, I don't know if I could do it, but like I I think it's better than what most people do. Most people get a baby. You know, yeah, they just like fuck it, we'll get a kid. <laughs> and, and that's a commitment. Ain't nobody ready for. Right, that's like eighteen years. And permanent. You can't break yeah. up with a kid. You, you can. can, but then they call you shitty. Yeah, you, you can't just be like. <laughs> you know what? Black fathers are leading yeah. in this shit. <laughs> what responsibility? <laughs> like, nah, this isn't working out, buddy. Oh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's not you. It's me. I oh, really uh, real shit. I want to see other. Children. Children. <laughs> <laughs> you take him after soccer, yeah. y'all sit in the truck, and then he just has to get out and wander through the field by yeah. himself for the <laughs> like. But no one, no one told me what to do. Yeah, no, uh, I don't. I don't. I, I couldn't. I don't. No, he I can't could, just go back in the bar like the girl you broke up with. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's I could. I don't know that I could do that just because it seems like a lot of fucking work. It's like. You got to put up with a lot of shit. You talking about a kid? No, uh, no, abandoned. Bo- abandoned both, a kid. Both. My and Paula did the shit. No, I'm My- talking about what? having two chicks run right, doing this oh. Polly circle of fuck uh, whatever. But I'll listen to what your aunt Paula here's the, did. Here's the yeah. thing. No, oh, I tell you this shit. Uh, <laughs> what I say first? Do I answer him first? I don't I care. First. Whatever. Rob, uh, whichever one you I'm, can hang on to. I'm cut buddy. out for it because. I'm 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 I love emotions. I'm not in the shit for the sexual shit. Uh-huh. I actually like that they pour so much love into me. <laughs> so it works out. What are you I love them? hearing yeah. these bitches day out. What are you a Def Leppard song? I don't know what it is, but I love hearing they day out because it gives me more opportunity to what? have them love me more. And then Bro, listen. This is the. Are you David Koresh or are you gay? Yeah. I don't. Gay. It's, it's, it's not a gay thing. It's just it's because this is the thing. If they love, if they keep pouring this shit into me, whenever uh-huh. I want to fuck, it's gonna go down. Well, <laughs> because but I'm just saying, you have to. Like under, you have she's to laughing under, and you under have to understand <laughs> women in order to manipulate them. So I don't think you. <laughs> what it is is that I don't think you understand them. Oh, I, I totally is, get it. I totally get it. You totally. I get, totally get what, it. What do you the, get? The what? hardest part is getting them to see that they're the same person. That's the, the hardest girls, thing right now. The two yeah, girls are the like, same. But person. slowly but surely. You both need to understand nothing special about either of you. <laughs> <laughs> the same person. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so can I ask? So, okay. So is this a, like a tri-circle thing or like can they each date other men? No. No. So They're, they're should... totally. They don't want to. That's okay. what I'm saying. Like I'm fine. Like, oh, I... I would have been. He's in clearly a, man enough for the, for the both of them. <laughs> I would have they been. They don't need torn. another man. So you're like Mormon. <laughs> it's more leaning than that. I you know I what? Li- white it's people not love more man. It's not Mormon. It's more man. Yeah, that's, that's what right. it is. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's more man, not more Mormon. Man. Yeah. yeah that's that's what that is. What did uh, your aunt Paula do? Hey Paula, uh, she was a she, racist cook on no, Food Network. No, that's funny. She uh, no, she she basically stopped being a mom. My cousins, I won't say their names. Well, fuck it. I'll say their names. Uh, <laughs> and we'll tell Aunt Paula's kids' Jamal names. Keisha. That'll keep them secret. <laughs> Jamal, Keisha, and uh, Tamara, they fucking, uh, my Aunt Paula just was like, yeah, I'm done being your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Them motherfuckers was 14, 13, and 11 or some shit like that. And and they just lived at everybody's house. They stayed at our shit for a little bit. And then they stayed, they just bounced around. But, I mean, you know. Two of them she is on ghosted drugs. her kids. There was no formal adoption. <laughs> there was no formal. You guys were just like, y'all got no, the dog this week. It just, it, I mean, it was, it was. This was what it was, bro. It was, it was, it was literally the family being like, "Well, shit, y'all heard what your mama said." Like, it, nobody stepped up. <laughs> Dude, that's funny. You supposed to laugh at that? <laughs> God damn, I got weird in here. Yeah, she was on drugs, <laughs> and drugs make you want to be free. Your stories are so tragic. They're true though. She was on drugs. Yeah, and yeah. she wanted to be free. Like, man, uh-uh. I, you know I what? I want to go do drugs. I had kids too early. I'm going to reset this shit. 
Hey, so what happened? I, I Do y'all ever hear from her again? Saying, uh, yeah, we say hey, Paula sometimes. <laughs> she's the she's the person that just she disappears. You'll see her for three straight months. No, I ain't even say that. You'll see her for like two straight months. And she's gone. Do you yeah. see again? I've, I've seen. Them drugs aren't going to do themselves. I've seen my Paula like, like, like every seven years, pretty much. <laughs> and the, kid, the kids are still around. And then what do they say when she comes around? So she's they like, just, they just call her Aunt Paula. The thing is, bro, when you got a black mom, that's funny as hell. They just call her Aunt Paula. <laughs> You're supposed to laugh. <laughs> oh, was it too real? No. Right, go uh, ahead. <laughs> they, that's their mom. You just, hey, I love my mom. She got her faults. That's just how you see it. But <laughs> if you ask them. She comes around once every seven yeah, years. Yeah, she's like Haley's Comet. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's always a shot. Oh, shit. They go like Paula. It's always like a shot when you see it because you don't never know if you, when Holy you're Holy shit, she's alive. Die. But uh, <laughs> be goddamn. she was on drugs. She wanted to be free. She was like, I had kids too early. She was like, I raised all enough. And they, I mean, they they doing all right. You're loving your man. I think now. they only got uh. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, shit. Nobody got felony. They have like quinceañeras. They're you're a woman or a fucking uh, what's the Jewish thing? The uh, bar bar, bar bar mitzvah. Yeah, bar mitzvah. Yeah, you're you're a man bar now. Bar mitzvah. Bar, bar, <laughs> bar mitzvah. Bar mitzvah. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever their God <laughs> prays to. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Sea monster fucking thing they got to pull off. But you're a man now. Go and yeah. sin no more. Or whatever they fucking tell you. Yeah. I don't know. Read this verse from the book of Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up and fly right. You're a more man now. Oh, cool, man. Your mom will see you in seven years. We're uh, yeah. We're going to take a quick break. We're joined by Beth Alder. Uh, you are at Beth Ann, A-N-N-E, on, on social. Uh, on Facebook. Yeah, it's Beth Ann, A-N-N-E, and it's Beth Ann underscore Fetamine on Instagram. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Bro, that's a puzzle. <laughs> I'll be stuck. Fetamine. That would a PRF. Uh, we are coming right back. We've got more Whiskey Brothers podcast in just a moment. Join our Patreon. That's the easiest way to do it because we're broadcasting live. Uh, we're still doing it from the uh, vaults. Oh, that's of right. Lore. We forgot to mention that. Vaultsoflore.com. Yeah. This is, you're listening to the vaultsoflore.com studios. There it is. Uh, <laughs> we'll be right back. Are you new to the Whiskey Brothers? Then check out the legendary first 400 episodes. Access the archives at praisewhiskey.com. We are back on the Whiskey Brothers podcast. Slade, Trey, Rob, joined by Beth Alder. Uh, you will be at Come and Take It, uh, the big festival that happens here in Houston, November 7th through 9th. That's at the Secret Group. Trey, you're on the show. Yes. Right? I will be wearing a vaultsofloor.com t-shirt. <laughs> 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 uh, do go check out the website. I raise a glass to you, gentlemen. Uh, this is still weirdly a little bit of this uh, JP Weiser's 15 year that we have. And we got a uh, somebody sent us a message. Like, we're now conduits for fans to talk to other fans, and they're messing it all up. Uh, Chuck Noseworthy, who gave us the bottle. Uh, but the guy sent the note to Chuck Bottlenose. So, uh, oh, hilarious. He got, he got there close. He enjoyed the bottle. He said, Thank you for the suggestion. Uh, cheers oh. to all of you. Oh, it's smooth shit. Man. So, Beth. I don't know. If, yes. I don't know how you're gonna feel about this or whatever. Oh. But this is the thing. Just looking at you is taking me back to, <laughs> is making me reminisce about some shit. My <laughs> favorite two things to do in high school was to make a women young, uncomfortable, young white women cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was close. Yeah, you was, I was close. Make that counts on family that, yeah. feud. <laughs> yeah. That counts on family That's feud. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, young white women cry and to see them get broken up with. Wow, that was my favorite shit. Ever, I like, do cry a lot because the do way y'all cry. <laughs> but I've never been broken up with before. So. Never, never, not even once. No. So my strategy is I date someone mm. who just would never leave me. You know, like, <laughs> you know, what? like they don't have a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like they that. They're, they're, That's funny. You know, they're less attractive. I'm That's like, yeah. yeah. You find someone who's like deeply codependent, right? Like, yeah. if they need you, they'll never leave you. And, and then I'm and patenting that for t-shirts. So, so now <laughs> you're understanding my situation. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. You just described. It. I Except mean, yeah. Like you literally talked your wife into like another girlfriend, so I can. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna strip them down to where they just need me, so they won't leave me. Yeah. So, so you're in you're in high school making women cry. This was my favorite thing to do. Was to make white women cry. There's okay. a difference. There's a difference. It's a different. Is it a different? It's a different cry. It's a, do you it's, get more out of it? It's very, it, It's theatrical. Okay. It's very. It's entertaining. Have you seen? Let's let's for sorry. Have you seen all the cries? Have you? Have I've you? Seen, yeah, I've experienced. You oh, definitely that was, know. You definitely know okay. the black cry. So this is the thing. I was. I used to just love to make women cry in general. Right. Just any. Of all walks of life. This sounds like and rather psychotic, but yeah. No, but then I narrowed it down to like, I just like making white women cry. 
because white women do the pre fan shit. The, before they let it oh, out. Oh, hold up. Don't yeah. you act don't you act like black women don't oh, have no. that at all. They don't fan the eyes in particular. They fan in the face, the neck. Okay. They're trying to get all that shit with them hot flashes coming from. Okay. It's okay. particularly the oh, eyes. oh, but it, they don't do the whole hand wave, they just do the tip. They just in here. Yeah. Just the tip. Is, am that's I, am, thing. I, am yeah. I anywhere? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You do that? Is that? But when I do the tip, like that's like a happy cry. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like you just want, like you just got picked on the Bachelor or something. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm like I'm not crying, but I'm crying. You know. Oh my god, a black guy's talking to me. That's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The anger. <laughs> uh huh. The the angry shit. They do it on the side. They get to fucking. They start. They start. They start crying and they stop. They start to talk then they stop. It's my <laughs> fate, but I only like to see it from white women because oh, it's racist. It's high pitched. Yeah. <laughs> I get what well, more color is it anything, but. Is because colorist it, because it starts in the it's ears. Colorist, yes. That's I don't not a fucking it's, thing. I don't know the rules no yes. more. I'm not racist. <laughs> I'm confused. I just don't like your color. <laughs> Shit. What the fuck is that? It's the truth, though. I'm not Think racist. I'm not racist. I just don't like your color. Think about that. There's some white people that only like light skinned black people. It's like it's not He's, the race. <laughs> it's the color. No, that's the okay. hue. No, Rob. I'm, that's a hue. He's you're hueest. The show, the shade. Yeah, you're, you're shaded. You're right. No, I'm me. I don't like salmon colored white dudes. <laughs> salmon colored. If you look like a, a pimp's outfit in Chicago, you look like Easter pants. You cannot fucking. No, get away from me, salmon colored white dude. And lotion your neck. Go Every strand, salmon you know? colored white dude got ashy necks, dry skin necks. Wait, so are you talking? What the fuck? Give, give, me a, give me a second. Have you ever seen salmon? Yes. Now I've never a, seen a salmon. Now put a white face I've on I've never okay. seen a salmon. <laughs> are you referring to a salmon colored dude? I, are you, uh, I've never seen one of these. Specifically, oh, Ginger. Oh, 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 killing me. You ain't never seen a Cajun she's, motherfucker. No, she's a redhead. She doesn't look salmon esque. No. I'm talking about them dirty Cajun motherfuckers. <laughs> you know what I'm talking Y'all know exactly. Exactly who I'm talking about. I have them, no idea them what you're talking about. Swamp people built motherfuckers. Wait a second. Them salmon color white dudes. Okay, you're like, how is he always pink? <laughs> <laughs> he ain't never switch. Are you talking about an albino? No. <laughs> y'all come out pink. Yeah. Yes. And then y'all shade into white. Uh-huh. Okay, these pink motherfuckers, they never got the shade. It just never, it never took off. If you slap them, it always leaves it a mark? D- yes, <laughs> or it leaves a white mark. They always look you sunburned. You slap them, They're yeah. They're always sunburned. Yes. Okay. Pink. They're just medium rare don't, people. Don't trust <laughs> Just them. medium rare medium people. Rare people. Medium. Well, they're they're well done white people. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. God you can't, you can't do well done uh, you know, salmon. No, right. Don't cook that. Yeah, well. bro, you know that. Yeah. I don't, okay. I don't trust them at all. Well, of course not. Why would you? They, yeah, they're aliens. Because I've never seen one of these motherfuckers. <laughs> Rob, you look like half of one right now. <laughs> what are you talking about? Your skin just ain't dry enough. You half of salmon. I'm right now, because your sa- face red right now. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on. Rob's about to have a stroke in this bitch, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> are you joking? Are you oh, yeah. I'm joking? This motherfucker look pre-stroke ready. Like just <laughs> like you ready to see me twist it? Like, like <laughs> pre-stroke ready. Yeah. So uh yeah, I don't trust. Wasn't that a radiohead way. song? <laughs> pre-stroke ready. Oh, that's fucking <laughs> What is that? That's just an erection? Pre-stroke ready? Pre-stroke, pre-stroke ready. <laughs> I ain't put it in yet, but I'm, yeah. but I'm ready. But it's pre-stroke ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. No, uh pre-stroke ready. Yeah, so when white women start crying, it starts. Oh yeah, in go the, back to start, why you like to make white women it cry. It starts yeah, in go the ahead. ears, uh-huh. and then it, and it fills your whole face. It, it's. I think I just like seeing the process of somebody crying. Right. It, it's. It's. But you can't. You. You. With somebody as dark as me, you don't know I'm about to cry till you see the tears. Cause I'm. I don't have shit that's gonna let it off. Nothing. You're, but th- you're dark. You're like. Yeah. Painted, you're painted with Vanta black. Yeah. Like you Van- can't yeah. even. You can't even see. Where where shadows should be sometimes. Yeah, I'm very. I would yeah. have to feel the tear. Yeah, yes. you're you're a stealth fighter. Black <laughs> <for> shiny. <laughs> I look illuminated on most nights. So, <laughs> laminated. That's what I really meant. <laughs> laminated. <laughs> laminated. I said illuminated. Completely different thing. Laminated Illuminati. Is All right. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, it starts there. And the fa- so, uh, do you cry like that? <laughs> Is <Right>. it a- <laughs> Because I, I say I all this to say like, that. If you cry like that, if you're, you're about, about to, please call me. You're all right. Just, no, I'll, like, I'll FaceTime you. Yeah. Yeah. Please. But just, you have to pay me $5. <laughs> She's on fire. Oh, wow. Hey, I forgot. You one of them young motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, look, y'all want money for, for necessities and shit. Just shit you normally do. Did you just say watching a white girl cry is a necessity? Well, I'm saying like, not a necessity, <laughs> but like whatever, like a, 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 a fucking natural emotion. 
Uh huh. They like, want to get paid. Like, you're, no, she's not being paid to crash. She's being paid to, paid to film it and, and deliver that's it what to I, you. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Th- y'all part of this weird shit. Because well, motherfuckers, motherfuckers is actually in, like it's a fetish of mine. But I wouldn't pay to watch you do it. Well, then I'm it's not, not a fetish. <laughs> Yeah, I think really? we all know what a fetish is. Oh <laughs> hell no, 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 no. That's different. That's different. Like if you got a if you got a shoe fetish, that means you also like to see them on your feet. That's something to pay for. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But white woman cry fetish is not. You would jerk off to white women crying. No, I wouldn't jerk okay, off. No, oh, so fetish is only connected to busting a nut? Because I, I, I don't have any of those. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, yes. thought, I yeah. thought you was just really obsessed with the shit. <laughs> like, I can see you being so obsessed with it that it leads to you jacking off, but I don't need jacking off to be the root of the motherfucking shit. Obsession. Yeah, like, like an obsession. Like, I'm so obsessed with this. You can be obsessed with something without having sex with it that's, I believe yeah that's what I'm saying yes. so that's, that's what I thought a fetish was like like I don't know I, I would jerk but I think the minute you, you, you change the word from obsession to fetish and again this is what we were talking remember how you like in books you know how you like them <laughs> to use like just the same five words yeah, over and make over it simple right so and I think we've talked about that before you this is kind of like that fetish and obsession are really two different things you're mad probably that they why not just say obsession well because it's different no I see what you okay so the fetish is connected to fucking is that why the F is in front of it I've just, I, I, that's probably not the reason I guarantee you that's the reason I don't know I, when you hear fetish, you're like, oh, they'd fuck that. Like, I don't it know goes wh- together in your mind. I don't know what bone the fetish bone is connected to. Yeah. it's But <laughs> no, it's definitely the boner. The f- sound is not, <laughs> the f- sound is not naturally, doesn't mean sex. So, it's okay. Philly so cheesesteak. A dude with a foot fetish, that doesn't mean he wants to fuck feet. But it does. But it does. <laughs> but not okay, because of the foot. So same shit, my no. fetish. Okay. Go, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, I mean, like you hear, the, you hear the phrase foot fetish and you don't think about fucking feet. Oh, I absolutely do. Yeah, one hundred percent. No, no, I didn't not, know that because I only know it, I only know the reference. All what it's I only know the reference from it from TV. Rob's sh- ringing in as a certified expert foot fetishist. Yeah, oh, this, that's, uh, that's this, not what it's about at all. Yeah. Okay, but it's not sexual. Uh, well, depends. I mean, if you, I'm not saying you want to actually stick your dick in a foot. Come yeah, on, speak now, salmon croquette. <laughs> <laughs> Salmon croquette. <laughs> Speak. <laughs> are some you people, Some f- people who are foot fetishes like to be jerked off with feet, but that's not oh the whole. God. That's not the whole of the foot fetish <laughs> world, bro. You thank God. Yeah. But is there is there part of that obsession that isn't sexual? I think it's the question. That's what. Yeah. No. Yeah. You know, there's no you, feet are sexual. Like they're either gross well, or you want to fuck them. Like right. No, no, middle middle middle. no, it's about there's no they can be very attractive. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Bro, I ain't never seen no fine ass toes. Well, I'm just like, yo. <laughs> All right, tonight? let me give you a list of celebrities and I will. Uh, oh, yeah, he did this shit. Go ahead. Yeah, right. No, I know he can. Uh, yeah. Three white bitches. Go ahead. <laughs> so is You there, know what's crazy? He fucking you no can black tell, You can tell like some, like the, the, the pop stars from the <laughs> South. Okay. Like uh, they have the hillbilly toe. What I like to call about it. Oh, Britney Spears. Britney, t- Britney Spears got the hillbilly toe. Uh, fucking uh, which one? Taylor, Taylor Swift's got hill bad hillbilly big toe. Which one's the bad. hillbilly toe? Is it like squared no, up? No, it's the it's the big toe, and it's like stupid and fat, and st- kind of sticks out to the side. You can spot <laughs> it. Oh my god! Fucking uh, I got hillbilly toe. Uh, what's her name? Fucking uh, Miley Cyrus. Pff, stupid oh, hillbilly toe. I bet. Yeah, all these southern girls from like Tennessee and Louisiana. You what's, can spot it. You can, there aren't enough pedicures to get rid of it. What, what's it come from? It comes from being a hillbilly. But I, it's a hillbilly oh, foot. Bro, that's, yeah, bro. That's I'm just, telling you, you can spot the hillbilly it's foot. It's generations of incest. Yeah. It comes from one common ancestor. Which, you know, <laughs> it's a recessive. To be all of their cousins. It's a recessive. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, maybe it comes from shoeing horses or maybe. doing other shit in the yeah, field. And maybe. maybe they wear that's, field that's shoes. That's where they got the hillbilly that make foot. make their toes. You can spot the hillbilly foot, man. You don't see it in Manhattan. <laughs> okay. But you see it on fucking... Britney Spears and Miley Cyrus, they got hillbilly feet. Okay. So, so, does it do anything? <laughs> <Think about> you? <laughs> like thinking about my feet now. <laughs> yeah, right? Robbie and Trey, you like, shit, I'm going to some steel toes around this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> when shit open toe around Rob. Is there anything sexual to it? Do you get off? The, was there anything yeah. to it in to high school? To make a girl cry? No, nah, I'm going to be what's honest. The, what, what's the, which part of the shit. emotional? Which it part made of the my heart come. That's about it. <laughs> my heart was busting plenty of blood nuts. 
I, over seeing white women. That was my fa- It's still kind of my favorite my shit. My heart it's came. Just, people have said that it's evil. So I've been like, all right, let me just kind of dial back. But it's like my, if I see a white it's woman like, crying in public, bro, like it's literally like pa- champagne popping in my what, But what, my, do, you, do you take into account the cause? Like what if, what if they just found, what if it's not just some No, it's always bullshit. It has to be sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. like to see white. Well, no, 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 so they doing the little vow bullshit. I did the direct. So, so Radu Bandar has not been on the podcast. Okay, he's yeah. but he's he's a Romanian American oh, yeah. comedian. So I'm assuming there were he's a lot the of Romanians Mexican of whites at the Romanian <laughs> white Mexicans. Was, was this a Romanian wedding? No, nah, they did a uh, some white. See, shit he here. did a thing where they went he let to his Romania. girl do whatever. You know what I mean? So they had a standard white wedding. Okay. It, was, it was white. It was, you know, standard whatever. white wedding. Well, it was, nah, no it was gypsy a, dogs or it broken was beautiful. It was a beautiful wedding. It was the best shit I ever been. It was the best place I had ever been to in my life. They had hors d'oeuvres. I've never been to no shit that served that. So so uh, <laughs> we're, at the, we're at the fucking wedding, and all these white women just start, you know, you see it. You see the build up, like you say, the little fan and shit, and people pulling Kleenex and shit like that. And I was in heaven just watching them cry. <laughs> But then, like a little bit, I was like, "Ah, fuck! It ain't sad." You know what I mean? Like it had, because that's the only thing I get off. And now the heart you can't on. come. Oh, yeah. you poor God, thing! I, I heart don't come if it's like <laughs> watching white come. women get broken up with. That's, that's a my Celine favorite Celine Dion yeah. song. My, my heart will come. <laughs> The confusion that's on their face, I just, I, I don't know, I love it. I don't like to see black women or even Latin women get broken. They get violent. Everybody becomes a suspect. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> what you said? Bitch, I just got here. I just sat down. I don't know what y'all got going on. But <laughs> white women tend to themselves. They'll just be in a corner. And give you something to watch. grieving just over. like a little and sad I'm aquarium. Just with popcorn. Like, dude, look at this bitch. She's gonna wipe her face again. Like, oh, I just God. I love it. I don't know what it is. What I can't so, wait is for the day so your God. therapist starts listening to these old episodes. So, <laughs> she's like, Trey, who hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> so many so, questions. Answered. I was gonna say, it's hard for me to be around you because I only want to make you cry. <laughs> Cause I'm like, gosh, you got that perfect cry face. Cause you know it's gonna build up and it's gonna it's gonna fill yeah. in with the red. And then I'm going to see the eyes water up. The fan going to come in. And if you got to excuse yourself, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to come with you. You got to excuse yourself? Shit, I might pass out from coming. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> the bitch left. Oh, Lord. Thank you for this one. <laughs> She's in the parking lot, Jesus. <laughs> it's, I don't know why, though. It, it really is a thing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's you're a horrible person. <laughs> no, what? no, <laughs> you are an awful human being. Trey, hundred percent. I think we're all no, in agreement man. here. But I don't do it. Have I ever made you cry? Not yet. I well, not yet. Yeah, but the I'll, day I'll, is I'll young. Probably, probably you're won't. you're gonna stick around and do uh, the next episode with us. Uh, I know. So the, uh, this week we'll see. You're not making her cry. I feel weirdly defensive no, now. She's all right. Tough. She's right. Tough I'm, no, I'm, that's how that's how bad Trey is. Slade is defending a woman. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, all right. Uh, that's how bad Trey is. That's, that's how awful this is. Slade's like, hey, take it easy on the girl. I'm going to take go it easy. Reevaluate my uh, <laughs> the impression I leave. <laughs> <laughs> we are the Whiskey Brothers. Slade, Trey, Rob. We're joined by Beth Alder today. Uh, easy to find. I say easy to find. Maybe not. Uh, at, Hell no. At Beth Alder, or <laughs> at Beth Ann on uh, Facebook and at Beth Ann underscore fentanyl. Right? Fetamine. Fetamine. Fentanyl. <laughs> what does different. it mean? Fetamine. Fetamine. Yeah. Uh, I think that's just like an upper. You know, like coffee. So what's fentanyl? Oh. I tried to kill you. Yeah. Yeah. Fentanyl is like. Mm, kill, okay. I'm gonna kill Mac Miller. That's uh, what fentanyl. Oh. <laughs> fetamine. Underscore your favorite was, drug. Yeah. <laughs> fetamine. I was gonna say that's the, yeah that's the suffix to meth. meth. And but I didn't fet- know. It is, it's, right. Yeah, but it ain't. It's what she it's said. Without the it's the upper. Yeah. That's what, all right. No, I'm you missed it. the fucking point. Yeah, clearly. I Trey. thought it was only connected to meth. I didn't know fetamine was his own word. Okay. Welcome to words, Trey. Uh, we'll see you guys on another episode soon. Uh, thanks to Vaultalord.com for the studio sponsorship. They don't want no problem. Nah. Music provided by Scarface. Thank you for listening to yet another excellent episode of the Whiskey Brothers Podcast, the world's funniest podcast ever. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast was made in America by Americans, mostly in and around the Houston area. All content copyright the Whiskey Brothers. This concludes our broadcast day. Goodbye.